Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and uh, yeah, game week 37 Premier League predictions, the penultimate game week and the fans are back, the fans are finally back in Premier League stadiums near you and um, yeah, personally I didn't get a ticket which is gutting with our massive crunch game against Leicester but yeah, before I get into Premier League predictions, I just want to say a massive thank you, thank you for 100 subs and yeah, appreciate all the support you've given to me on the channel. And, um, yeah, it's been a good laugh, isn't it? We've uh, seen some really good moments this season. We've seen some crap moments this season. We've relived it all on this channel. And, um, yeah, more to come, of course. Um, yeah, Euros content, end of season awards, all that stuff. Chelsea awards, all that stuff. But, yeah, the penultimate match week, a game week. Well, game week 37. So, um, yeah, fans are back. Let's get on to it. Okay, so the first game to kick start the match week comes at Old Trafford, where it's Manchester United taking on a Fulham side who are relegated, and Man United will be looking to secure second position in the league. They're virtually there, obviously losing the other night to Liverpool. Did give Leicester a slight chance, but yeah, if they win this game, then they're there. Um, yeah, I think they will win. Straightforward for me. Dad thinks straightforward as well. 2 0 banker. Um, yeah, I'll go three 0 Man United to be fair on this one. Yeah, I just think they're going to be good enough, and um, yeah, they will pick up all three points and um, secure second. But yeah, unlucky for Fulham this season. I'm sure, they'll be back at some point because they love to come up and down, up and down. But yeah, let's move on. All right, so next up we have Southampton taking on Leeds, and both teams won very comp convincingly you should say um yeah at the weekend obviously Southampton 3-1 winners against Fulham they deserve to win and um yeah likewise with less uh, with Leeds 4-0 winners at Burnley which is a tough place to go and they um yeah picked them apart um for this game off I fancy Leeds again they've had, obviously had a really good season they're the only side who got promoted to stay in the league so yeah that's credit right there but um yeah everyone that knew they would stay um, what do I think? I'm, I'm gonna go two one leads on this one. I just think they're gonna be a, be a more up for it, and you know what Bielsa is like. And um, yeah, they're gonna pick up three points in the penultimate game week. Um, my dad's gone one one, so he's sat on the fence with draw. Yeah, but I fancy leads on this one. Two one leads. Let's All right. So next game comes at the Amex Stadium. It's Brighton have Albion who survived for another Premier League stay, and um taking on Man City, obviously champions, and be looking for that, well, be looking forward to that champ, well, yeah, probably looking forward to it, but looking to that Champions League final against Chelsea on 29th of May, um, yeah, Guardiola obviously went with a weaker side against, who was their last game? I'm going, I'm going mad, I forgot who they played, uh, Newcastle, wasn't it, Newcastle 4-3, uh, but still ran victorious with Obviously, a 4 3 win. Ferran Torres, what a player, by the way. Good start for him. And, um, yeah, they'll usually say first season's difficult, second season, you see how good they are. And he's had a decent first season, that's for sure. Um, yeah, what do I think on this one, I think Matt's here win, to be fair. They're just, they're, whatever side Guardiola puts out, it's stronger than probably like 15 Premier League other sides, you know what I mean? Like, their depth is incredible, but, um, yeah, I, I'm going to go with a 2-1 Man City. Brighton were, well, could have got three points against West Ham, but obviously Ben Rama with his first Premier League goal scored late on to rescue a point um, for West Ham. But yeah, Brighton will be happy. They're in the Premier League. And uh, yeah, Man City obviously winning the league. And um, yeah, looking forward to that Champions League final. But yeah, both Man City wins. I'm going 2-1 and Dad's going 2-0. Let's move on. All right, so the big one. <sighs> After the absolute rubbish show on Saturday, can't believe it still how bad we were. And then obviously VAR, don't get me started. But yeah, this is the crunch one, man. After Liverpool's last minute Allison header, I can't believe it. We've got to win this game. Um, whether we will is another question. Our record is absolutely shocking against Leicester. And that doesn't give us any favours. I believe our last home win against them was 2016 when Victor Moses scored. That shows how long ago that was. Um, we've got to turn up. Simple as that. If we're going to get anything out of this, we've got to play our best football, which we know and we have seen. And we've got to stop Leicester. Um, 
What do I think? I'm going 2 1 Chels. 2 1 Chels for me. My dad's gone 1 0. So, um, yeah, just please win. Oh, it's going to be a long 90 minutes. Obviously, Matt Jack's going to be out after the game. Let's see what happens. But please turn up, Chels. Let's do this. Let's move on. All right, so next game on the Wednesday fixtures. It comes at the new White Hart Lane and it's uh, Spurs taking on Villa. Spurs in a good position to qualify for the Europa League after their 2-0 win against Wolves yesterday. Um, similar score, I'm going to go on this one. I'm going to go 2 well, exact same score. I'm going to go 2-0 to Tottenham. It was actually a good thing that Tottenham beat Wolves because it means that when they play Leicester last game of the season, they're playing for something which is vital for Chelsea's chance of Champions League. So, um, yeah, I think Tottenham will win this one as well. 2-0. My dad has gone with a 2-1. So, yeah, he's back in at Tottenham to win as well. And kind of hope they do, to be fair, because then when they play Leicester, they know they need to win or get something to get Euro European football. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens. But, yeah, both Spurs wins for us. OK, so next game comes at St James's Park, where it's Newcastle United taking on a Sheffield United side who were really good against Everton. As much as Everton was shocking yesterday, Sheffield United turned it up and, um, yeah, got a deserved three points. I think they might get something in Newcastle. You know, they're fair play. I've said it all along. Like They've been relegated for ages. They've known they're going down and they've still been putting really good performances. And... Um, yeah, it'll give them good momentum going into next season's championship race. Um, yeah, I'm going to go 1-1 on this one. I think Newcastle were unlucky not to get something against Man City, but that's Man City. Like They can just score goals for fun at any point and um, yeah, even score three. And I, w I do wish Newcastle played like that more because when they were at their best when they were free flowing open. But yeah, they're quite boring, aren't they now? But... Obviously, with the pressure off, it's a bit different. But, yeah, I'm going to go 1-1. But that's gone with a home win. He's gone 1-0. But, yeah, interesting game. Let's move on. All right, so next game on the match week, and it comes at Goodson Park, it's Everton taking on Wolves. Both teams, well, Everton have blown their chances of European football. The game that you want the most, is just, and they've just blown it. They've lost nine games out of nine, well, 18 so far at home, and that's just rubbish. That is not good enough. They're just, they're high, their away form has bailed them out big time, and, um, yeah, that's not acceptable, losing nine games at home. That is relegation form, to be frank. Um, so, for that reason, I, I think they're going to get a draw on this one. I'm going to go with 1-1. My dad's gone Everton, 2-1 against Wolves. Obviously, Wolves, pretty poor against Tottenham, but obviously he's playing for nothing. So, that's what happens. But, yeah, I'm going to go draw on this one. Let's move on. All right, so the next game comes at the Crystal... Well, Selhurst Park, where it's Crystal Palace, who, um yeah, have been in decent form. Well, decent form. Well, a good result, should I say, on Sunday when they beat... Aston Villa by three goals to two, one of a decent game. Um, yeah, well, they're taking on... I forgot who they're taking on now. My mind's just gone. Um, Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Sorry, Arsenal, who obviously beat us last week, 1-0, uh, and they'll be looking to bounce off that. They've got a slim chance of picking up European football, but I doubt it will happen. They need a lot of factors to go their way, and I think it's just too late. Um First of all, they need to win this game. But actually, Crystal Palace have a really good record against Arsenal over the years. They've done really well against them. And I think they might get something here. I'm going to go 2-2. I think it's going to be a really good game. End-to-end, -end, I could be wrong. But yeah, 2-2 two -two for me. My dad's gone 1-1. But yeah, Arsenal have to win if they've got any ambition of European football. Let's move on. All right, so arguably the second biggest game of the match week. And it comes at Turf Moor. Where it's Burnley taking on Liverpool. Liverpool after their last minute dramatic 95th minute winner. Uh, keep their European ambitions, at, well Champions League ambitions alive. And um, yeah, if they win their next two, they're going to get Champions League. Simple as that. And that's why it adds more pressure to us winning tomorrow. Um, I think Liverpool just beat Burnley to be honest. Burnley were crap the other night. Hopefully at Dyche hypes them up and, um, yeah, gets them to produce home. But I just can't see it. I think Liverpool are going to win 2-1 again. 
2-1, my dad's gone 2-0, so um, yeah, fingers crossed Burnley can do something, but I can't see it, to be honest with you. No, I don't see it. I think um, Liverpool will be too strong and just win, and it'll go down to the last game, but let's move on to the last game. All right, so last game of the match week comes to the Hawthorns, where it's West Brom and Jalbion, who fresh off a last-minute winner, well, last-minute conceded, Taking on a West Ham side who have blown top four. They've had a really bad spell, but credit to them. To be in that position they are, you can't take anything away. It's been a really good season for them. And um, they hope to carry on that next season and obviously be on the European adventure in the uh, Europa League as long as they win their last two. Um, I think they will beat West Brom. I feel like Moyes will get them back. And Lingard will score a few, and yeah, that'll be enough for West Ham. I'm going 2 0 West Ham. That's going 2 1 so, um, to West Ham. So that concludes the Premier League predictions. So, as always, thank you for watching. Thank, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for 100 subs, appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll be back on Tuesday night, tomorrow night, for the Chelsea Leicester. Match reaction, biggest game of the season. I say that every game, but yeah, it is literally do or die. Um, will we turn up? This We have to wait and see. I'm not confident after how crap we were the other night and crap against Arsenal, but we've got to perform. And if we do, we'll be all right, but not confident. Let's see what happens. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'm out.